For nearly two hours in prime time, the bipartisan House Select Committee investigating the January 6th Capitol attack used dramatic video and witness testimony, placing former President Trump at the center of a violent and failed conspiracy. Donald Trump, the President of the United States, spurred a mob of domestic enemies of the Constitution to march down the Capitol and subvert American democracy. The panel describing the January 6th riot as the culmination of a brazen attempt at a coup. Donald Trump oversaw and coordinated a sophisticated seven-part plan to overturn the presidential election. Vice and Chair Republican Liz Cheney power. describing how a month after Trump lost the November 2020 election, his former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn, Advisor Rudy Giuliani, and Attorney Sidney Powell met at the White House over how to use the military to seize voting machines. Even though testimony by those in Trump's inner circle, including daughter Ivanka Trump, then Attorney General Bill Barr and campaign advisor Jason Miller, made clear Trump was told he lost the election. The idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bull The January 6th panel accusing Trump of energizing far-right groups like the Proud Boys and Oath Keepers, along with thousands of his supporters to storm the U.S. Capitol. Capitol Police Officer Caroline Edwards, seen on this newly released video, knocked out by rioters, testifying that it was a war scene. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was slipping in people's blood. It was carnage. It was chaos. And aware of the rioters' chance to hang Mike Pence, the president responded with this sentiment, quote, maybe our supporters have the right idea. And committee chair Benny Thompson says there's evidence linking Trump's inner circle to extremist groups whose leaders have been charged in the riot. Trump and Republicans are slamming the hearings, calling it a political attack. The next one is scheduled for Monday at 10 a.m. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.